Hi everyone, it's time to read. I got a great book to read to you all today. It's called It's a Seashell Day by Diane Okatree. Art by Elliot Korloff. When the sun peeks over the bay, Mama tells me it's a seashell day. I rush down the path over the dune. Salty breeze blows. We'll be there soon. We reach the beach. Herring gulls flock. Is that a seashell? No, it's a rock. With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in the cool, wet sand. A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave, so I can dig. Bumpy, lumpy shells out from the muck. Spiny, shiny shells, a penny for luck. My shell is teeny, a silvery pearl. Mama's is brown with a big twirly curl. This shell is a home, Mama tells me. Let's put it back to live in the sea. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says Mommy, what do you hear? I hear the ocean. I count shells. One, two, three, four. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says Mommy, what do you hear? I hear the ocean. I count shells. One, two, three, four. Each one is different. I have many more. I count other shells. Five, six, seven, eight. My shells are curvy, never straight. Two more shells, numbers nine, then ten. When we get home, let's count them again. We're almost home. It's been a fun day. So many shells. I'll make a display. One, two, three, four, a pretend seashell shore. Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. Nine and ten, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. Mullets are animals with soft bodies that wear their skeletons on the outside seashells. There are more than 100,000 species of mollusks worldwide. Every empty seashell on the beach was once a part of an animal from the mollusk family. About half of all the mollusks live in the ocean. Seashells are mostly made of calcium. So are our bones. A seashell wraps around a mollusk's body like a suit of armor. It protects the sea creature living inside from predators and strong ocean currents under, under sea. The best time to find seashells on the beach is in the morning or evening at low tide. Hermit crabs crawl into empty seashells and call them home. As hermit crabs grow bigger, they have to find larger and larger shells. Scallops have dozens of eyes to help them see predators coming from any direction. 
Many clams breathe through a kind of snorkel, a body part called a snifum, when they bury themselves in sand. Seashells can be as small as a grain of rice or as big as four feet across. Seashells have been used throughout history for art, jewelry, money, tools, containers, and buttons. The end. Alright, well, till next time. Bye.